section 6.5 inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, it's quite a long-winded process, you need to learn it. Um, most of the time you'll be able to use your calculator to find the inverse of 3 by 3 matrix, especially in applied parts. But you could have a question and you could see uh, whether what method they've, uh, if they haven't said clearly, by showing each individual step, to see how many marks the question is worth. If it's, if for finding inverse, it's only two marks, then you know you can use a calculator. If it's more than that, so like five, four or five, then you've got to use this way. Okay, so you have to learn it. Five steps of finding inverse. So the first thing you're going to do is find the determinant. Uh, the second thing you're going to do is find the matrix of minus. Okay, so remind you of the minus R, you delete uh, the row and column that A belongs to. You're left with uh, four entries. You treat them as matrix and you find the determinant and you replace the position of A with that uh, minor. Then if you go to B, if you cross the column and the row that B is on, you'll be left with D, G, F, I. You put it into that um, space where B was and you find the determinant of that two by two matrix. And you carry on like this, still you end up with nine new entries. This is called the matrix of minors. Okay, so each element will be replaced by its minor. Next step, you find the matrix of cofactors. So it's really the same matrix as the matrix of minors, but you keep the signs of diagonals positive as they are, and you change all the other signs to opposite, so you, they form that pattern. So X stays positive, and the others become negative. Okay, now the four is find the transpose of uh, matrix of cofactor. Cofactors. What's a transpose? Here, I've you've got a short explanation. It simply reverses, so switches around or swaps around the rows with columns. So you had A B going across. Now you've got A B going down. You had C D going across. Now you've got C D going down. And the last step, which I didn't write down, so let's copy it down. The inverse is simply the one over debt of A, and then multiplied by the transpose of um, matrix of cofactors. So we're going to have a go at uh, doing uh, one such matrix. Okay, so five steps. Okay, so we've got uh, our matrix with entries 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, 1, 1, 0. So the first thing we're going to do is find a debt. So debt A is, remember, it's A, so it's 1 times debt of the matrix that's left after deleting the column, minus, it's going to be minus 3, and then you will be left with 0, 2, 1, 0. Always write this out. And then you've got 1, and the matrix you'll be left with 0, 2, 4, minus 1. Okay, so it's going to be 1. Let's find that little debt here. 4 times 0, 0, minus, minus 1. Oh, let's just write it long way. So 4 times 0, minus, minus 1 there. Minus 3, you will have 0, minus 2, plus 1 times 0, minus 8. So you're going to have 1, plus 6, minus 8. So it's minus 1. Okay, step 2, let's put it here. So we've got to now find the matrix of minors. So let's do it slowly. So let's rewrite it, the matrix of minors. I could MA. Okay, the top left entry is going to be the debt of four 
minus 1, 1, 0. The next entry is going to be the debt of 0, 2, 1, 0. The next entry is debt of 0, 2, 4, minus 1. So these are actually the ones you used in uh, finding debt determinant. Right, the next one you're going to delete the first column and the middle row. You'll be left with 3, 1, minus 1, 0. The next one you will delete the middle column and middle row. You'll be left with 1, 1, 2, 0. The last one you'll be deleting the last column and the middle row. You'll be left with 1, 3, 2, minus 1. And moving on to the bottom row, you'll be left with 3, 4, 1, 1. The next one is going to be 1, 0, 1, 1. And the last one, you've got 1, 0, 3, 4. Brilliant. Let's find each individual entries. Okay, so let's do them a bit quicker. So 4 times 0, which is 0, minus negative 1. It's going to be 1. The next, the, now really be careful with here because marked papers where, where students just made one or two sim, really silly errors. So always double check. Zero times zero, which is zero, minus two, which is minus two. Here, zero minus eight. Zero minus minus one, so it's one. Zero minus two. Minus one, minus six, minus seven. 3 minus 4 minus 1, 1 minus 0, 1, 4 minus 0 is 4. Okay, step 3. Okay, so in step 3, remember cofactors, meaning you've got your matrix of minus. The cofactors is just this matrix. You're going to keep the x positive and the other entries will change to the opposite sign. So we'll keep 1, we'll keep minus 2, we'll keep 4, we'll keep minus 1 and minus 8. Now that minus 2 will change to 2, that minus 7 will change to 7, that 1 will change to minus 1 and that 1 will change to minus 1. Okay, step 4. All you need to do is find the transpose of this matrix. Okay, so transpose, pose, whatever went across, now you need to go down. There you go. That went across, now it goes down. That went across, now it goes down. And finally, the inverse is going to be 1 over minus 1. And the tra uh, transpose of cofactors okay since it's not too tedious to incorporate that that one over minus one is minus one if you times it by minus one you'll have minus one minus two eight minus one minus two minus seven one one negative four very good. Okay, so example 18 uh, is that, oh, there's two more examples before exercise 6e. So here we've been asked to find the inverse of that matrix. Okay, you couldn't do this question on the calculator because there's a letter, a constant here. One of the entries has been replaced with K. So we're going to do step by step. So the first step is going to be finding debt. So debt A is going to be 3 and then matrix K uh, minus 1, 0, 3. We need to find debt of that. Then you've got minus 2 and then minus 2, minus 1, 0 and 3. And then you've got minus 2 and then it's going to leave you, left, leave you with minus 2 K minus 1 minus 3 right let's just do it here so let's just do it slowly 3 3 
3k minus 0 so it's 3k this one is minus 6 minus 0 so it's minus 6 and this one is 6 minus minus k so plus k okay so let's just do this one 9k plus 12 minus 12 minus 2k that gives me 7k that's a nice one okay number two uh minus so you've got on the top corner always write it with the dot notation first i'm just going to copy these ones here because i've already found out which ones they were when i was looking for the determinant there you go now the middle row it's going to be if you two minus two minus three three okay the next one you're going to have three minus two minus one three the next one you're going to be left with three two minus one minus three the bottom one you're left with two k minus two zero if you do that minor uh, this one here is going to give you 3 minus 2, minus 2, 0. And the last one will leave you with 3 minus 2, 2k. Two okay, there you go. Okay, so here we've got 3k. I calculated them here. Just this next one is minus 6. And the next one is 6 plus k. Okay, the, this one here is going to give you 6 minus 6, 0. 9, and then you times them together, you get 2, so it's 9 minus 2 is 7. This one is minus 9 minus minus 2, so it's plus 2, which is 11. Then you've got 0 minus minus 2k, so 2k. 0 minus 4. And then you've got 3k plus 4. Okay, now we've got to do co Okay, just to, it shows how easily uh, you can one can make a mistake. I'll just double check that. Minus 9 minus minus 2, so it's minus 9 plus 2 I did 9 plus 2 it's minus 7 all well, the other entries are correct good so let's do the um, uh, cofactors so remember you keep your x's as they are 3k 7 3k plus 4 6 plus k and then this one is 2k all the others need to change so this one will change to six this one will change to seven four and zero obviously stays as zero okay so let's do the transpose so the columns become rows and vice versa that is zero good 2k four 3k plus four and finally, you're going to write the final answer, which is our inverse. One over that, so one over seven k. And you're going to do uh, copy this matrix. So it's three k, six, six plus k, zero, seven. 7, 2k, 4, 3k plus 4. Splendid. And let's go on to exercise. Oh no, there's example 19. So it's wishful thinking. There's exercise 6, 6e after this example. Let's have a go. Uh, we are going to show that the um, this is actually, this means this matrix is a self-inverse. 
I don't need to find the inverse of this matrix to um, in order to show that it's going to be the same going through all the five stages. I would think that if this is the case, then all I need to do is multiply a by a, which you could actually write it as a squared. And then if the answer is i, then clearly the inverse, uh, it must be inverse of itself. Let's check whether that's the case. So you've got minus 2, 0, 1, 3, 1, minus 1, minus 3, 0, 2. Let's multiply carefully. So remember row and column, you've got minus 2 times minus 2, so it's 4. And then 0, minus 3 for the first entry. And the next one is going to be 0. Then you're going to have minus 2, 0, and 2. So that's going to give you 0. Then you're going to have 3 times minus 2, which is minus 6, plus 3, plus 3. So that should really to prove that I'm multiplying it. Show it like this. I'll do it for some of the entries. Then this one is going to be 3 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, and then plus 0. And this one is going to be 3, minus 1, and then minus 2. This one is going to be 6 plus 0 minus 6. The next one is 0 plus 0. Which one am I doing? Oh yeah, plus 0. And then minus 3 plus 0 plus 4. And clearly this is our identity matrix. I'll actually write it there. Because you have 1 here, you have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So because it's an identity matrix, then you clearly, uh, if, if A times A is I, if you apply the inverse to this side, you need to apply it to that side then clearly this is equal to i, so you've got a is equal to a minus 1. Proven, or shown. Okay, so over here we are going to find matrix B. Okay, so uh, we know that the inverse of our matrix A uh, multiplied by another matrix B uh, we are given that inverse, but what else do we know? We know that a, b, the result from before, this actually means b followed by a. So when you're undoing it, you're going to be undoing a first, which actually is weird because you do it furthest from the right, followed by b. There you go. So uh, we've got our matrix a. It's the same question. Now our matrix a is the same as its inverse. So let's put this information down so the left hand side is going to be our um, matrix uh, over here okay so um over here we need to find actually it was fine by minus one okay so over here now we can get rid of that a by applying it in but a minus one by applying its inverse uh, and we know from part a that the inverse is simply a so you get b minus 1 a minus 1 a this is worth i and remember multiplying by i changes nothing leaves your matrix unchanged so now i need to replace that i'll do it in the next line with our matrices so i swap the sides put b minus one on the left hand side and copy the right hand side um, the left hand side onto the right hand side so we've got this matrix which is eight minus five minus three minus 17 10 and five nine minus six minus four i want you to squeeze the other matrix <coughs> over here so matrix A, which is minus 2, 0, 1, 3, 1, minus 1, minus 3, 0, 2. Okay, so 
So really carefully multiply it out. Really should write all every entry carefully, but I'll do it a little bit quicker. So it's minus 16, 0, and 9. There you go. Okay. Then you've got 10, 0, and minus 6. So it's 10 minus 6. Then you're going to have 6, 0, and minus 4. Then you've got 24 minus 17 minus 9. Minus 15 plus 10 plus 6. Then you get minus 9 plus 5 plus 4. Minus 24 plus 0 plus 18. 15 plus 0 minus 12. 9 plus 0 minus 8. Let's see. So you're going to have minus 7, 4, 2. 24 minus 17 minus 2 minus 5 plus 1. That's going to be 1. That cancels to give you 0. Minus 24 plus 18 is minus 6. This gives you 3. And this gives you 1. And this is our B minus 1. Okay, so now go ahead and work through exercise 6E.